Dottinger Events LLC, a nonprofit located in North Carolina, USA, has successfully implemented automated recovery testing for their Active Directory and is in the process of adding Sure Backup tests for their custom developed marathon event management application. Sure Backup application tests appear to fail. However, when test scripts are executed against production servers, they work as expected. What should the backup administrator just to solve the issue? Okay, let's take a look here. Update VMware tools of the virtual machine to a version newer than 10.3.10. Well, the uh, thing here is it says application tests appear to fail, right? So if it was related to VMware tools, then we would see heartbeat tests that, that, that were failing. And um, that would require, uh, first of all, we have VMware tools installed. It says update, so update. I can't update something that's not installed. So I'm, I'm going to go and skip away from this one. And then here it says reconfigure the virtual machine from DHCP to a static IP address. Again, the application tests appear to fail. Uh, this assumes that um, the networking test or the ping test, which uh, happens before the application test, uh, was successful since nothing was mentioned here. So I wouldn't say that it's going to be related to the networking here. Um, if it was using DHCP on the outside, then we could just simply use DHCP on the inside as a DHCP option uh, inside the virtual lab. Increase the maximum allowed boot time. Well, this is connected to the stabilization point where we can actually start doing tests. Uh, now the stabilization point can be reached in a few ways. For example, through heartbeats. Okay, well, that seems to be working okay. It could be done through the detection of an IP address, through VMware tools, or it could be through the just waiting out the maximum allowed boot time. Now, I don't think this is the issue either. Then we have increased the application initialization timeout. So this one is basically, you, you, you finish the heartbeat test, you finish the, the ping test, now we're running the application test. And how long do we wait before we run that? Because maybe the application needs some time to start up. So this is this timeout. And uh, how much it's set to, well, that depends on which uh, role you've, you've uh, picked here, of course, and so on. But it, it could be a good idea to potentially increase this, especially if the backup storage that you're booting from is not overly performant, for example, or if you have quite a few VMs in the application groups that they need to take some time here. The last one is upgrade the virtual hardware version of the virtual lab proxy appliance. This would only really change so that we can go with more networks. If it was version four, yeah, vSphere version four, on the hardware version, then four NICs would be the maximum. But as soon as we go to version seven or newer, we can already do 10 NICs or nine port groups. So I would say this doesn't really make much sense. And the right answer will definitely be increase the application initialization timeout.